Okay, so on page 1084 in your textbook, uh, there are there's a little piece called Critical Approaches for Interpreting Literature. Those are advanced literary critical stances, which are, uh, I think, quite fascinating and lots of fun to play with, but they're, they're a little beyond the level of this class. However, if you're an English major or if you're particularly interested in critical analysis of literature, you might want to take a look at one of those. Those are cutting-edge theories that people are working on these days. Uh, for instance, uh, I'm particularly interested in uh, mythological and ap archetypal approaches because I'm a Jungian, and so a lot of my uh, critical analysis of advanced literature is based on uh, the psycho psycholytic psychological theories of Carl Jung. Uh, and uh, so I, I use that a lot. Um, I'm also big on deconstruction, which is on page 1089. Uh, I find those really very useful ways of understanding literature and penetrating to uh, its depths. Again, you don't have to do that in your paper. If you want to, uh, if you want to challenge yourself, uh, it's there for you to look at. There's a little blurb on all of those approaches and if you find one that appeals to you particularly let me know and I'll provide some advanced resources for you but don't think you have to do this the other thing that you'll notice as you're starting to read plays uh, is that everything we learned about short stories that is character setting uh, and particularly the Freitag's pyramid that we started out that first day with it all applies to analysis of drama as well uh, the only thing different about, well, a thing that's different about reading a play is you have to read the stage instructions and other things, uh, otherwise you won't know what's going on. It's better to see a play than to read it, in my opinion. Uh, and if I can find, uh, and there may be a, a recorded performance of Los Vendidos out there somewhere, possibly on Facebook, uh, it's, it's a good adjunct to watch it, but if you if you're reading it you have to use your imagination in more profound ways than you use with short fiction where more stuff is kind of laid on and applied for you uh, reading reading drama you have to use your imagination a little more um, okay um, what else oh yeah there will be some form discussion questions based on chapter 17 uh, and some other stuff some other resources I'll be putting up for you in just a little bit so I hope you have a great week uh, and uh, get started on that drama section. Okay, talk at you soon.